It is insane here. With guns drawn, the SWAT team rolled up to a Fort Myers bank. It was a chaotic scene. A man who claimed to have a bomb held a hostage at knife point. Just saw more and more cop cars. Everything stopped around the bell tower shops. You could feel through the floor and we had our hands on the windowsill. We could kind of feel it reverberating. And then it happened. Guys, it is absolutely crazy. Live from Fox 4, this is breaking news. Thank you for joining us on Fox 4 at 5. I'm senior reporter Caitlin Knapp here to start team coverage of what was a chaotic situation at the Bank of America here at the Bell Tower shops. Lee County deputies say a sniper shot and killed a bank robbery suspect who they say had one hostage and claimed to have a bomb. Now, just moments ago, we found out who that bank robbery suspect is. Take a look on your screen. This is coming from the Lee County Sheriff's Office. This is 36 year old Sterling Ramon Alavache. Now, again, this is the person and that deputies say was shot and killed when they got to the bank. Now, all of this happened around 11 this morning. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says when deputies got here, they went into the building and dozens of people ran out. They found Alavache with a knife and he claimed he had a bomb. Now, the sheriff's office said he had two hostages and deputies brought in a hostage negotiator just trying to get him to surrender. However, Marcino says that's when he became physical. He started to put one of the hostages in like a, a headlock and he had the knife to her throat. SWAT team was in place. When he presented deadly force like that, our SWAT sniper shot and killed the suspect. Now the hostages did get out safely and were not physically hurt. Now, as far as Alavache's background, I was able to dig up a little bit of information. He has a criminal record out of Charlotte County. He's been arrested several times for charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, theft, trespassing and more. One of the most recent arrests coming from 2021. And the FBI is here to help with the investigation. However, the Lee County Sheriff's Office, they will be taking the lead and we will be getting more information from them.